The primary function of each store is to enter each transaction into Precious Metals database. To start a new transaction, simply click the New Transaction button on the store dashboard. Step 1 of each transaction is to enter essential seller information. Each item marked with a red asterisk is required information. The entry will not be processed without completing each required field. Enter the seller's first and last name. Each seller must have a valid form of identification, passport, driver's license, military ID, state federal ID, etc. Select the form of ID provided by the seller and then upload a copy of the form of ID you've selected. You must indicate whether the image of the seller on the ID is the same person who is selling the item. If the answer is no, you will not be able to complete the transaction. Next, enter the necessary information concerning the seller's address. To complete the first step in this process, just click Select Customer at the bottom of the page. The following page is concerned with the item or items being sold. At the top of the page, you'll see the name and address of the customer selling you an item. If this is not the correct customer, simply click Change Customer. Here, select the type of item and indicate the number of this particular type of object being sold. For each item, you'll need to enter a detailed description. Be as specific as you can. For the field asking if the description is complete, you'll need to select Yes to continue. The following two drop-down menus allow you to select the type of stone in the item and the main metal type. Simply make the appropriate selections from this list. Enter the remaining information and make sure to upload at least one picture of the item. Finally, enter the amount you're paying for the item. You will not need to enter the dollar sign in this field. Having entered all of the necessary information, click Add Above Item at the top of the page. If you have any errors on this page, you'll be alerted of the errors and prompted to change them. After successfully adding the item, you can click End Transaction at the bottom of the page. Printing the transaction can be done in the following pop-up window with the Print Transaction Summary button at the bottom of the page. Repeat this process each time you conduct a new transaction.